This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under an attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to be adding capacitor 4, a 10 nanofarad capacitor. In my kit, it was a small ceramic disc numbered 103. This capacitor, like the others, needs to have a Z-bend placed in its legs before soldering. Be very careful. They're very small and very fragile. As always, heat both the component's leg and the pad and apply solder to create a good electrical connection. Next, we're going to add the three pin male header. I don't know what experts do, but I found I needed to use a small bit of electrical tape to keep the component in place while I was trying to solder it. If you have a friend that you're working with, they can help you hold the component in place while you're doing the work. Note that when you're soldering headers, it may take a bit more time to heat the component. Those pins have a lot of metal in them compared to the legs of our capacitors. And so go ahead and give it just a bit more time to heat the component and the pad, and then apply your solder. Note though that you want to try and keep your iron upright while doing this. Here, I've burned the solder mask on my PCB because I laid the iron flat while trying to heat the component. Avoid this if you can. Now we have the male header firmly affixed in place. This allows us to test the power subsystem of our board. Jump for the two pins that indicate we want USB power. Take your mini USB cable and plug it in. If all goes well, your LED will light, and nothing will catch on fire. However, if you've done things poorly, well, this could be the last cable you ever plug in. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, you know. Wear a fire retardant suit or something. <laughs> 